has a 24-foot skater with two 2.4 Mercury fuel-injected engines on it. I'm Kirk Roberts, the pilot, Douglas David, co-pilot. And I guess this year's strategy is just to go along and go out there, keep it all open, and hope for the best. You're going to break a record this year? Well, we're going to try for it. It's the right conditions for it. So yeah, if everything holds together and the boat runs like it's supposed to, the run this year, be a problem. in the end, it was only two. Troy and Randy Burgess in S3 never started. Vernon Haywood and Kevin Constable in S10 made the start, but they didn't get far before they broke down. That left Don Basin and Ellen Mello in S941 and Kirk Roberts and Douglas Davis in S202. Basin's boat has the Indeed. biggest engine. It's Don and myself coming down North Shore. And you see, I've, I've got the boat trimmed out a little bit too much because Don is riding a little bit better. But we're coming up to, I think, uh, Tugfish Beacon. And Don comes out a little bit wide, and I'm able to get alongside him again, going into Hamilton Harbor. They definitely had the faster boat, but Kurt was a lot better in the turns. That's where we overtook him. I think we, uh, they overtook us at least three times. And we made up uh, once they broke down after dockyard. Here we are, coming on to two work, two work. but it's designed to lift up out of the water where the DP stays in the water more. That's got a brand new 2.5 on the back of DP, which was the newer, the newer model engine. That produces 265 horsepower. So it's a little bit bigger than the, the, the old engines. So you've got this type of offshore engine, or you've got a carbureted engine, which is a different type altogether. But this is just more so strictly for racing. You wouldn't have this on your regular plane.
Roberts and Douglas uh, Davis there. Is it a dream come true coming across that line first? Yeah, it's just been a lot of work. We spent a lot of nights working on the boat. I'd like to go along and thank my two mechanics who spent a lot of time on it. Andrew, two Andrews up in North Basin Yachts. They're the ones that went along and made it help. And along with my crew five, my crew pit there, Desmond the Shields, a few other summer cigars. That's who made it work. Now, I've heard from uh, Ciola Wilson Bell that uh, you really wanted this one bad, uh, Kirk. How bad did you want it? Yeah, well, if we set out this year and we said that was the plan, not just to win in this class, but to win overall. So that's what we went out for and that's what we were pushing for. We thought we didn't have it halfway down South Shore because uh, Troy came alongside us for a little while. But with a little bit of pushing on, it worked out. Yeah, yeah. And Douglas, how would you describe it? Uh, it was definitely a rough ride, one of my roughest rides, and I knew this is the right man for the job. He says he's going to win me a first, and he did. <laughs> this is like my third season racing with Craig. And a few seconds, but no first. Yeah. Well, next time we're going to concentrate on breaking the record. I think if we have the boat to do it, we just got to get the right condition. 